Hello everyone, this is Mika with a little review to the AOK Fly 2306 motors, this time with the uh, 20,650kV version. Um, it's a motor as cheap as $13, but it really performs like a champ. The footage seen right now is flown on these motors. Um, this is with uh, better flight stock PIDs, I didn't change anything besides the motor timing set to mid-high. And um, yeah, this is not a knockoff of the Emax 2306 as you can read online for a lot of times, because AOK Fly actually has her own factory for those motors. Right now you can see me flying with like 70 to 80 percent throttle because um, yeah, the tilt is not high enough on this copter. I actually use this to fly in parking garages and stuff and there I don't need that high. Uh, angle of attack for the camera. The propellers I'm using right here are the uh, Dialprop 5040 by 3. Those are really the sweet spot. I tried out the King Kong 5030 by 3. Those had a little bit too less power, and the Cyclone 5045, where I think the motors didn't get on the high RPM they can really reach. So this is why I settled down with the uh, 5040, which produce enough thrust. Here you can see the inside of the AOK Fly 2306. Um, you can see really tight windings. The magnets are uh, N52, so high spec magnets. And you can really feel it, as you may see right here. So what is the final verdict of those motors? Well, they really perform quite good with uh, light props and they have a good throttle curve. But to be honest, um, they draw a lot of amps while they don't get warm. On the same day I flew my uh, Tornado T2 copter which has 2206 2300 kV motors on them and I'm not quite sure which copter was faster. Um, maybe the AOK fly was faster by a little bit but not that much. Um, it was definitely louder <laughs> because it screams more in the air but uh, hmm, I don't know which is really faster. But actually for $13 it's much much cheaper than T2s or even the uh, Emax 2306. It really has good windings, it's quite sturdy and it seems to be high quality, so maybe we should start call it the uh, high quality Racer Star motors, which we learned about some time ago. The Racer Star RS2205 were quite famous for like $7 and if you really want to build a good copter with a low price point you should try out the AOK Fly because $13 is really really low and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Have fun! Professional braking. <laughs>